Yo, you go by you go by Ronnie Notes, so and that's like your nickname, nickname, or you, that's just IG. Nah, that's my nickname, nickname. Oh, good, yeah, good, good, good. I don't good. know if I'm gonna use that for my podcast though. So I'm saying I, I want to introduce you, Shaq. Yeah, Ronnie Notes is fine. Yeah, all right, that's dope. It's a dope name. Yeah, it's a dope name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, now nah, some people think it's my real last name. It's not. Nah, I knew it wasn't your last name. Yeah, 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 I just yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. if it was just your IG. Sometimes right. we would just create some random shit for IG. Right, right, right. Nah, I was been called that since I was like fifteen. That's dope. Yeah. Why is it? Um, I mean, I named myself that. I told people that's what I wanted to be called, but like, it comes from like my father. That was his name in the streets. It was Notes. Oh shit! And like, and I at that time back in those days, I was rapping and like in music and shit like that. So Notes, music, Notes, hundred you know percent. Yeah, that's dope. Right. All right. I thought, like, um, since I know you as an actor, mm-hmm. I thought I had to do it with acting. Script oh, yeah, notes nah, or something. Nah, nah, nah. It's funny that you say that because, like, I don't even see myself as, like, an actor, actor. <laughs> but, like, when you brought me on the show, like, I was like, all right, cool. You know, I actually have been in classes and I've been in a bunch of shit. Yeah. I'm a paid actor. It's true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It so, makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. <laughs> There's so many things I'm involved with. You know what I'm exactly. saying? That it's like, all right. So many walks of life. Right, right, right. Welcome to Interview with Frangez. I'm your host, Frangez. And today's guest, I thought was just an actor, <laughs> but it runs so much deeper. Uh, you know. Today's guest is Ronnie Notes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. This has been, it's been fun already. You know what I'm saying? It's been fun Absolutely. already, man. We've been having a good time. You Absolutely. Know what I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Thank you very much for being here. Yeah, man. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate All right. You. My pleasure. Exactly. It's literally my pleasure. <laughs> good conversation. Absolutely. Real good conversation. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's jump right into it. All right, cool. Where were you born? Uh, I was born in Manhattan. I'm I'm a, I'm actually one of the few out here. I feel like as far as like that's in the city that actually was born in the city. A lot of people come from like all over the world, you know. But yeah, I was born in Manhattan. Manhattan. Actually, third, fourth generation Manhattan. So yeah, I never thought of that. I always thought of uh, people from New York being born here. But since it is a melting pot, mm-hmm. a lot of people were not born here. A lot of people, especially in Manhattan. Well, like I think that when you go uptown Harlem and, and like and like Washington Heights, you know, you get more people that were born there. But when you go below 96th street it's like everybody comes from somewhere else almost you know that but makes yeah. a lot of sense i never thought of it like that yeah, yeah, yeah definitely what is your father's name ronnie oh junior yeah i'm a third i'm a junior yeah yeah yeah. Nice, okay yeah nice. yeah i'm a I'm, I'm a third man well ronald but we won't get into it yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Called me that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is your mother's name uh sydney Sydney. Yeah, like Australia. Nice. Yeah, nice. but spelled way different. But oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but her name is Sydney, man. Pretty name. Nice. It is a pretty name. Mm-hmm. Nice. What were your parents doing at the time of your birth? What do you mean, like work? Or in in general, like, just in general. In general, yeah, at the time of my general. birth? Yeah. I mean, my mom was giving birth to me so she was <laughs> she was on the table and the word is, is that my pops uh had some Don Perry Young and a bunch of his homies with him and he wow. actually uh was out partying and got called to come in and to the to the hospital and that he actually passed out I think I think he passed out before I was born from drinking and being <laughs> and being the rock star that he is still to this day but I heard he had some Don Perry Young in the in the in the um delivery room and passed out. So that's what they was doing at the moment of my birth. That's amazing. That, I don't know if that was nah, that you know, the question. You know what certain question is, you ask it, and however you take it is how you... It's how it goes. Exactly. I got you. So yeah. that's that's beautiful. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> that, yeah. Dom Perignon, that's, that's bougie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My that's pops, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Very nice. That <laughs> that, that's a celebration. Yeah, That's definitely, beautiful. Definitely. Very beautiful. What religion did they practice during your childhood? Um, my mom was Baptist Christian. All right, actually, and uh, you know, she we went to church a little bit when I was real young, but at a certain point, she wanted us to make our own decision. So it was more about that. Um, my father uh, was in the nation of gods and earths. I don't know if you heard about that before. No. Yeah, it's more like it's it's a sect of of Islam, you could say. So he was into that. Whenever you hear like people say like peace God and yeah. that kind of stuff, those yeah. those are the those they're called gods and earths. Okay. So it's it's like it stems from 
uh, being a Muslim to some to a certain degree. They don't yeah. eat pork and they you know do certain things. But yeah, but he he wasn't really around, so like he didn't like have he didn't like have the the space to make me or like push me into that direction. Really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but Baptist Christian, but I I say I grew up more spiritual. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't really take to the Bible. And being, you know, a follower of Jesus, you know, um, like my mom was. That, that's beautiful that you said she she allowed you to find your own way eventually. Yeah, that's, that's she, rare. Yeah, she she wanted. I mean, at, she wanted us to be, you know, Christian and Baptist Christian like her and everything, which would have been, you know, cool, I guess. But um, she wanted us to choose that, you know, and not for it to just be forced down on us. So that's beautiful. Yeah, it was. I, I appreciated that. But like, I mean, she was doing Bible study in the. She had Bible study in, in her living room two, yeah. three times a week. Like, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. She was really intense with it. And uh, I would just be like going to basketball practice like, all right, Ma, I'll see you later. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, right, right. What is your relationship with God today? Oh, wow. That's a deep one. Um, You know, I feel like, not even I feel like, I know that we're all a piece of what I call source, right? God, right? Like source creation. And um, like I'm a piece of of that energy, and I know that, you know what I'm saying. And you know, there's times when I have like, you know, actual prayer that I that I'll do or whatever things like that. I think it's a real close relationship, a loving relationship. Um, and you know, I I recognize the divinity in me and in you and in everybody. You know what I'm saying? I know that we all have that in us. That's the spark that animates this this body this animal you know what i'm saying yeah so like i I know that so it's a good relationship but i think that it's um i understand it at a at a level of like the spirit level i was gonna say spirituality yeah 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 yeah. all right i get it what was home like during your childhood and when i say (laughs) home like i also mean food music family dynamic okay um what was home like when I was in my childhood? My mom played music a lot, a lot of R&B in the household. My mom, a black mother, you know what I'm saying, that, like, was all into, like, the older school stuff, but also, like, the new R&B stuff. I'm a little, I'm going to date myself, but, like, the 90s R&B, <laughs> yeah. you know, that 90s R&B, that real R&B. Yeah. You know, she loved playing all that stuff around the house. And um, food, you know, my mom, it's funny, growing up, like, you know, she was the type that, like, would would make us you know, cut up apples and oranges and, and, and make little sandwiches and have always, it was always fruit and stuff. There was never any sodas in the house. Oh, that's beautiful. There was, there was barely, you know, a lot of it was like, you know, some juices. We didn't have like all this natural healthy stuff, vegan stuff and all that stuff when we were younger, but like she tried to do like all the healthy stuff. So I kind of grew up with like, liking the, the, the healthy cereals that nobody really liked. Or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, because she tried her hardest to keep us on more of a healthy path. She cooked all the time, breakfast, lunches, dinners, all of that. So, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, and it was a single mother. She was, she was uh, you know, super superhero. That's beautiful. <laughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, man. Yeah, because, um, you know, raising kids, sometimes you just go the easy route because you're taking care of so many things. You don't think of the healthy things. Right. But that's right. beautiful. Right. Very beautiful. Yeah, man. Who is the first person you think of when you think of success? Um, the first person I think of when I think of you know who popped in my mind was Jay Z. That's a great that's you know? a that's a great I mean, example. This dude, you know what it, you know what it is too with Jay? And like I, I say a lot of people that's that's in that same level as what I'm about to explain, is that he got it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Coming from Marcy Projects. You know, one of the worst projects probably in the whole country at the time. You know what I'm saying? And didn't have both parents in the house. Didn't have the trust fund. Didn't have all those things. And still was able to accomplish all the great things that he accomplished. And have an amazing family. And have a woman that is accomplished herself. You know what I'm saying? Like that, yeah. that to me is like a real level of success. You know what I'm saying? Because he came, he got it out the mud. You know? And who knows how. You know, there's always this you know stories out there but who knows you know what i'm saying really what happened but yeah from what we do know from what we can perceive he got it out the mud so i i would say him all right yeah. definitely as a kid what did you want to be when you grew up that i wanted to be my mother wanted me to be a lawyer so i wanted to be a lawyer for a long time really and then once i started to think for myself i wanted to become a music mogul 
like the next P. Diddy or Russell yeah. Simmons or something like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was where my head was at. So in high school, it was all about like I had artists that I was managing and, you know, had a record company and did yeah. all that stuff and did that for, for like seven, eight years. I was pushing, you know, nice, nice. That. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you ever think you should have went through with law school? Nah. All right. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Nah. And, nah. I'm good on that. All right. <laughs> I'm good on that. You have to read too much. <laughs> yeah, too many boring documents. Yeah, a lot of reading. Yeah, a lot Absolutely. of reading. A lot of boring documents you got to sift through. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good on that. What are three things you need to be happy? Um, Love is number one. I need to have love, right? By the people who are in my circle. Um, music. Um, what would be the third thing? Damn, that's a that's a deep question, bro. You coming with the deep questions today? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say the third thing would be some good food, man. You feel me? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's it. Love, music, and food. I love it. I love keep, it. Keep the brother happy. You know I love it, yeah. And, and I'll do the auxiliary is like dancing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's, that's, that's the, the fourth one. I like it. I like it. <laughs> What's the most exciting thing you ever did? Wow. <laughs> my mom went to the gutter um i'll keep it pg though pg 13 um the most exciting thing i ever did you know what you know what had my heart pumping was i was in um i was in cayman islands and took the jet skis out to like the middle of like not the middle of the ocean but like in, in like the middle of like the bay and they had a place called stingray city where you actually interact with stingrays and they give you like the stingray nose to give you a massage, like literally like put his, put his fin or whatever it is called on your back and like, and like rub you with it and everything. And like you hold it and kiss it and everything. So that was on your back. Yeah. 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 Like you actually are this it's and they're wild. It's not like you're in like a cage with like cage trained stingrays. They yeah. just know they give you octopus to feed them and you feed them this octopus and they, it's like a, unspoken contract that they have to not kill you you know what i'm saying to not like sting you because it's literally like a like they build like a little weird floating city where you can enter and it's like in the middle of this bay but you can stand in the water so it's super dope wow and, and it came in lines they have one i think too and uh, somewhere else, right outside of dr i think but yeah the stingray did a wild stingray they know for some like oh they're not gonna hurt us they're gonna actually feed us so they come out there and they it's wild. It's, it's dope, though. Wow, that's, that's beautiful. You know, that's the PG one. That's the PG yeah. one. You know, I'm going to get into the, the wild nights. <laughs> it's your interview if you want to yeah, get into nah, it. Nah, 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 nah. They don't need all of that. They don't need all of that. We're going to keep this. All right, keep all right. This, Let's you know, keep it PG. Keep it PG to some degree. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. <laughs> As you get older, what has become more important and less important? Uh, what Less important is what people think. Mm, by absolutely far. that's become way less important um what's become more important is family time mm. seeing my seeing my parents um spending time with my with my siblings you know what i'm saying that's bec and my my niece my nephews like that's that's been the most important thing that's that's grown as i've gotten older you know absolutely yeah. but like what people think like growing up i thought about it so much you know what i'm saying and i'm not saying i'm just like immune to it now but you realize that, like, most of that shit don't matter. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. Awesome. What would be the best piece of advice you'd give your younger self? There's, you know, there's that meme that goes around. I forget how it goes, but, like, no matter what you do, people are going to judge you. So just do what you really feel is right inside. You know what I'm saying? And don't worry about what people think. You know, kind of, I guess it goes piggybacks off of the, the last one. Yeah. You know? They say, um, if I walked on water, they say I couldn't swim. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, yo, bro, I'm walking on water. What the fuck? What more do you want from me? You know what I'm saying? My man can't swim. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. You got to walk on water because you can't swim. Right. I mean, right. He's yeah, nobody. You got to do you, man, and not worry. You got to. And anybody watching this, especially the younger generation, like, do you excessively don't care about what other people most of the times they're not gonna be in your life after a couple of years anyway you know what i'm saying so 
don't worry about what people are going to say, man. Do your thing. Absolutely. Do you have any regrets? You know, people say this all the time, like, oh, I don't have any regrets. I, you know, everything I, I did. No, nah, I got some regrets. Definitely. There's some things I wish I would have did different. You know, some hearts I wish I didn't break. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, yeah. You know, I wish I, but you know, it, it is all a learning experience though. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if I could do it all over again, maybe I would do a couple things different, but overall, you know, I, it made me who I am. So like, you know, it is what it is, but yeah, I got a couple. Yeah. yeah, I got a couple. It was a wild boy a few times. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What are your life goals? Oh, man, life goals. To me, um, it would be dope to have the family, the kids. I don't have any kids yet, you know All what I'm right. saying? Um, it would be dope to have the family, the kids, you know, and and look up and see, like the like, me having grandkids and, like, you know, have that real tight knit family that I created that came out of me. You know what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. I don't really have that tight knit family around me as far as like the, the family that's existing now. You know what I'm saying? So it, that would be a big life goal for me. Have property, you know, all over the world, really in different places and, you know, shit like that. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. These next 10 questions originally came from a French series, Bouillon de Culture, hosted by Bernard Prevost. Okay. That sounds real fancy. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. What is your favorite word? Yes. Mmm. Love it. Yes. Love it. Yeah. I love hearing yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it PG. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what popped in my mind. Nice. Yeah. It's a beautiful word. Yeah. What is your least favorite word? I'm not going to be boring and say no. <laughs> um, as soon as you said yes, I'm I said okay. Boring. I'm not going to be boring and say that. Um, what I'm going to say, though, is um, can't, mm. which I guess is, is two words, but can't. Yeah, Can't is, is beautiful. Yeah, I think that's, Absolutely. That's, that's a horrible word. I agree. Mm -hmm. What turns you on? <sighs> Femininity. Mm. Like when a woman really can rest in her femininity, I think it's it's super sexy. You know? Beautiful. Yeah. What turns you off? Just what turns me off. When a, when when someone is just nasty for the sake of being nasty, somebody who just has a mean part of them you know what i'm saying where you could just see the the the, the dark cloud you know there's something about that as just you know i'm i'm good I yeah mean, you want to be away I from that i don't want nothing to do with that person you know what i'm yeah, saying i got it yeah when that dark cloud is around it's like it's it's tough you know it's yeah. really tough when the person you love has a dark cloud when that comes mm. you know that's when it gets that's when it gets interesting that's when it gets dicey you know what i'm saying absolutely yeah so that that's a big turn off yeah what sound or noise do you love? <clears throat> <laughs> Yo, that's this is this is funny questions, bro. Um, <laughs> the PG answer. Um, I, nah, you know I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I love this it. Is your I love, interview. I love hearing a woman moan. Mm. I love hearing a woman moan. Them delicate, sexy moans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a sound I really love, and laughter. All right. To, the PG answer would have been laughter. You know, hearing like genuine bust of gut, you know, tearing up laughter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. What sound or noise do you hate? Ooh, um, glass breaking. <laughs> All right. I hate the way that sounds. I got a trauma from that All shit. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I went through some shit as a kid and like bricks coming through windows type shit. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? As like six years old. You know that so like there's trauma there. Yeah, I hear man. that. <clears throat> what is your favorite curse word? I'm gonna say fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I use it a lot. But cunt has a real <laughs> it's triggering to people. So the reaction cunt gets 
is, yeah. is different. And I don't know why. It's so funny that like cunt is so is so so much of a bad word, but fuck is what I use probably <laughs> most often. It's so dynamic. You know what I'm saying? You can yeah. say fuck in so many ways. Yeah. Yeah. What profession other than your own would you like to attempt? That I would like to attempt. Oh man, astronaut. Which which is, you know, uh, I think that ship has sailed. But it would be dope to go into space for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that would be fly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's literally out of this world. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be dope, though, man. Yeah. Like Mars or some shit or go to the moon. You know? Yeah. What profession would you not like to do? Wow. Um, I wouldn't want to be like a miner, like a cave miner or some shit, like, like mining for gold or something, like inside of like under the ground, mad far in, like where you're in dirt and all that kind of shit all day. Like that shit is... That shit gives me the heebie-jeebie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't want to be in a in a space where the shit can collapse on me and yeah. I'm I'm stuck on the ground. Like that shit, yeah. you know, I wouldn't want to do that, man. Yeah, the, ri- the risk level. The risk level is insane. Like yeah. anybody who's like working underwater or working, <laughs> you know, it's like submarines and shit like that. That shit freaks me out, man. You yeah. Know? yeah. It ain't worth it. If heaven exists, mm-hmm. what would you like to hear God say? When you arrive at the pearly gates. My nigga. <laughs> I and like I'm black, it. I can say that. You know of saying? course, of course. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, now nah, I would want him to say something more along the lines of like, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you did your best, man. Come here. Come here, man. Give me a hug, you know? Yeah. Let me envelop you with all this love. You know what I'm saying? Now, something like that. Yeah, or like my nigga would be cool. Too. <laughs> same thing, right? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. All right, this is the end of the podcast where you could say whatever you want, give some advice to the viewers, talk about yourself, what you got going on, anything. Open season. Okay, I appreciate that. Well, first let me say thank you because providing a, you know, a platform for people and, and you know doing the work that you're doing I think is amazing. You know what I'm saying? So let me just put that out there first before I say anything else, man. My pleasure, my and, pleasure. And inviting me on to this, man. I appreciate you. Um. And, you know, I got, you know, I'm working on, you know, podcast situation too. So hopefully, you know, I'm, it, it ain't, it ain't quite there yet. We're working on that, but, um, that's something, but yeah, anybody who's, who's watching, man, just, you know, like we talked about earlier, it's just like, do you, don't be afraid of what people are saying. Um, you know, any naysayers, they not really for you anyway, you know what I'm saying? So push forward in the things that you're really passionate about, you know, make it your life, go hard. You know, don't leave any regrets, you know, in the thing that you really want to do. And, you know, love as much as you can. Spread as much love as you can. You know, um, the, the world needs more love. So keep on pushing that. And, yeah, I think that might be. I don't know if there's anything else, man. That was beautiful, man. Say. Love is everything, literally. Yeah, the best way to end it is love. That's it. Love that's is it. everything. That's a, that's a fact. Thank you very much for watching Interview with Fran Jess. Today's guest is Ronnie Notes. Peace and love. Peace. That's it. My man.